hello and welcome back to my channel today i am just coming to show you um what i'm going to wash my hair with before i take my nice time at the at um somewhere that i'm going um this weekend and hopefully i get some clips in so everybody can see and then um, i'm going to show you what shampoo that i'm going to be using before i go to make my my natural hair stand out and look the best so um, the stuff I'm going to be using is the 10 in 1 Renewal um, from Shea Moisture. I'm using this one because this is the um, the nearest one that I wanted to try before I tried the first two. I've already tried, um, of course, the Plantain and I've tried the, the normal natural one. But I haven't tried the Hibiscus and Coconut. But this one, Superfood Complex, this is the third one that I tried and so this is the bottle that I'm on now. So this is what I'm going to wash with and shampoo and um, do my mask treatment with. Before I go, I'm going to show you after I wash my hair, I'm going to show you how I um, do my leave in. And then um, I'm going to show you how I style it. And then hopefully we get um, get ready and I can show you um, the finished look. So what I'm also going, um, there's two masks I need to also, I wanted to find something that was more deep conditioning. Um, right now, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna deep condition with because the mask is one treatment, but I also like to have a deep conditioner because um, the mask basically keeps it growing and stretched and then the deep conditioner actually puts the moisture in there and holds it so i don't know what deep conditioner i'm going to use yet but i do know i'm using um the superfood i know that a lot of people do just deep condition with just the mask <clears throat> that's a good thing to do but i don't do that i always have a deep conditioner i always have so if i I've tried it without, and I've ha I had a little breakage just with just by using only a mask. I had some breakage, so I would rather have a deep conditioner too. So that's what I'm looking for now. Um, I'm going to do my detangling method that I always do with olive oil, and basically, that's basically how I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish that, and then I come back and show you how I put my leave-in in and how I uh, set it and then I'll come back and show you how to style and then I will show you the finished look okay so um, hang on and we'll be back with you okay my hair is freshly washed now I'm about to use this hair mask and I'm gonna show you how I use it with the oil so, um, this is my hair after I washed it. I'm just going to take the oil straight from the bottle and get it um, on my hair, on my ends as much as I can. And a little bit of this all over each section. And then I'm going to use this on the other one. And this is going to do the mask. And the mask treatment is good if 
you're trying to grow your hair. It's good if you want to um, make your hair longer in length because it helps to keep your strands um, stretched and doing good. But right after, I'm going to follow up with a deep conditioner and I'll show you the one that I'm going to use. So it's going to um, put my hair my elasticity back so it's not totally stretched with the mask but at least the mask has strengthened it and prepared it for stretching Okay, and now I'm going to do this. And so my hair is all ready for this. I'm going to leave this on for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just got finished letting my mask sit. Now I'm about to try my favorite cholesterol treatment because I don't get cholesterols that much because of how um stringy it makes my hair and i like my hair to be full and really voluminous but um i'm gonna get a cholesterol treatment right now because it's uh cholesterol it's the hollywood beauty and it's cholesterol and deep conditioner all in one treatment so that's what i'm gonna try I'm just putting this on my sections. And then I'm gonna move to the other one. This deep conditioner is just the one I use in between my normal monthly deep treatment that I use because I don't use the same one every time. And this is a cholesterol, so I don't do cholesterols every time, of course. Um, my deep conditioner that I really like to use every time with probably the ones that I have right now are... Um, The Mixed Chicks one, and there's another one. It's the it's the olive oil one, and the Mixed Chicks. Those are the two ones that I have now that I use in between, and this one. So those are the only ones that I have to use. But hopefully, when I go this weekend, I get... Um, a deep conditioner because I last time I went I got one that I really liked and I kept using it until I ran out of course and then I just resorted back to what I had so hopefully I get one this weekend that I really really like okay so I'm gonna let this sit for 45 minutes and then I'll come back Okay, I just got finished washing out my deep conditioner. Now I'm going to go into my leave-in and my style. So I'm going to, I have to have a leave-in, so I'm just using everything I got. I got some cream of nature here. And I'm just going to go with um, 
liquid oil cream. And the oil is, I'm going to try a little bit of this organic root stimulator anti-scalp itch um, for my scalp because I don't want any itching over the weekend because it's just, it gets sort of embarrassing if your scalp starts to itch right in the middle of you trying to enjoy yourself. <laughs> Or even listening on um, educational things. So I got that. And next I'm going to do um, this uh, BB's Tropical Roots Growth Oil. And just spray a little bit on my hands. Now, um, since I'm trying, I'm trying my best to stick to the um, shea moisture. So this is the balancing um, leave-in, and it's for like if you have a little bit of an itchy scalp. And then this one is a repair and define um, cashmere curls by curls. So since I'm just I'm just I'm trying to stick to my um, Shea Moisture. I'm going to spray a little bit of this anti fridge shine. It's it's sort of a leave-in too, but um, it's more of a styling leave-in. And then I'm going to go with, put a little bit of this on for my leave-in before I style it. And I always um, style... This is my uh, balancing African black soap with for dry itchy scalp. If you have dandruff, eczema, or psoriasis, that's what this is. And it's a leave-in or it's a conditioner. You can use it for both. So that's what I'm using for my leave-in. Let me make sure I get it all over because. I'm sure this is this is probably what's going to give me the most um, soothing and make my scalp feel the best. So, and um, normally, as I always do, I use a curl cream because um, I'm wearing I'm wearing my hair curly. Of course, I don't have a straight style, so. This is Curl La La by Aunt Jackie's. And that's what I'm going to style my hair with. So, uh, with this style, it's, um, I usually just, it's a braid out. And the reason why, I'm doing a braid out is because braid outs last the longest, especially if you, you know, you're going to be out all day or, you know, um, I could do a twist out if I was going to just be shopping or, you know, just hanging out for a couple of hours and I could and I didn't have to worry about um, immediately trying to... Um, do anything I could come back in and switch my style or put my hair up but braid with the braid out it will last for me anyway because my hair it will go into its natural state a lot better so um, I'm going to get this section in the back parted off first because that basically how I'm going to style it. Um, this middle part here, I'm going to put up for until I get finished styling my back part. And my middle part is actually growing out a lot. It's, it's doing good. So now I just need to work on this back section because it seemed like 
it's um, not doing the best. So let's see if I have a, yeah, let me right here. Just want to make sure my part, yeah, is, is straight enough back there. And then I'm going to split this back section in two. And I'm going to um, put it, I'm just going to do, it's going to be two, um, three plaits in the front and one in the middle and two plaits in the back, braids. And uh, that's how I'm going to style my braid out. And I'm going to leave it um, up for, it take, my hair takes a couple of, when I do it like this and it's set really good, it takes a couple of days. So I'm going to leave it braided. I will come back um, when I'm ready to do my styling and I'll show you how I style it. But this is just my leave in. And so this is how I'm going to do the lead in part. Um, I have, it's going to be a two, two to three day process. So I'm going to, um, do my leave in today. Tomorrow I'll come back. I'll show you what styling, um, milk I will use. And um, then I will style it. And then the next day is actually the day I'm going to un do my unbraid it and fluff it. And that day, I'll that'll be my final day. And that'll be the actual get ready with me. But this is just the full process of how I washed, um, can mask deep conditioned and then leave in and then the next day i'll do a styling milk and then the next day i will fluff and um get ready to wear my hair okay oh shoot and i have a little it's, it's doing a little bit of the most like here so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that um, itch oil there. So I'm going to add a little cream to it. And then... This is just one big braid. It's growing out so much to where this one big braid is... It used to be a, a really small, um, it's still not as long, but as far as the thickness, it's getting very thick in the middle. So I like it, I guess. It's okay. I'm just going to put it in one braid. And now the front. The front is in three. So you just get three sections.
And then there's a middle section. And this is more of my bang part, I guess. And then the last section over here. Okay, so there I have one, two, three, four, five. And this is how I'm going to style my braid out. I'm just going to tie it up for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow I'm going to show you how I use my styling milk. And then I'll come back and show you how I um, finish the look. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how I style it. I'm just going to style it with the raw shea butter extra moisturizing milk. So I just, to style it, I'm just going to um, take down each one and moisturize it and then braid it back up. Right now my hair is not dry, but it's semi-dry. So, and I'm also going to use a little bit of the curl Blueberry Bliss Curl control jelly.
Okay, and that was how I used the styling milk and control jelly until my hair is completely dry. And then I'll be ready to get ready. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to finish getting dressed. I'm just going to use a little bit of the um, Hollywood Beauty oil to take down um, my style. And I'm just going to take it down and fluff it. And um, that's how I'm going to wear it today. This is a style, just fluff it out. And I'm going to put um, a twist in the front, of course. Two twists because I like the two twists in the front. I like it to, I like it to take this whole side instead of just leaving that side. It's not together just yet. <laughs> It's like me a little few extra minutes.
um, it was a little bit damp but I think if I just blow dry it just a little bit just let the heat get on it it'll dry or I can just leave it just like this so. Hopefully I get a couple of clips so I can show my dress and everything. But this is how um, I'm going to wear it. I might um, fluff it out just a little bit more and put on a little edge control. But other than that, this is it. And I'll be back if I can show the rest of my dress. Hi, I made it. I'm in the rain. I'm waiting in line. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I just wanted to get a little clip here about um, me making it um, to my event and I'm so happy to be here. My hair is making it, it's gonna make it, I'm, I have faith. And I'm gonna make it, we are gonna make it. So there is a few people here, it's a long line, let's see, I can't show the line. There is like, I don't know if you can see it, it's a line. And we just waiting out here. I got here 10 minutes early and there was already a long line, so. And it's raining. But other than that, everything's going good. I just wanted to check in so that I add this clip and um, you can see what I wore, sort of, and how my hair turned out and my makeup, so. I'll be back. <laughs> Come on.